talk to me, spirit. I have already sat with my ancestors. I have already sat with my team. I am the voice of the voiceless. It'll be close to giveaway time. If I can get up to 1,500 followers, I will be giving away either a product or a reading or a healing. It depends on my team after I sit with it. We're getting approaching the Aries, full moon in Aries. It's going to be like an eclipse. So a lot of y'all probably feeling the energy now. Challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversary, adversities, my bad. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. A lot of y'all have the polar bear as a spiritual animal, meaning that you're very mystic. Your polar bear helps you with your psychic abilities. You are very stronger, but you have to believe that you're strong. You have to believe you have faith to face your adversities, to face your problems. How are you going to win if you're not right within? Being spiritual, you have to be mentally strong because the enemies will fuck with your head and make you feel like you're losing the battle, making you feel like you don't want to thrive anymore. But that is a lie. Once again, you are more than a conqueror. You are you already won the race. The enemy knows this. That's why they trying to defeat you mentally. You need to call upon your spirit animals. Call upon your shamans. Okay? A lot of you have the animal of a lizard. Regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. You can adapt to any problem because you be like, okay, why is this happening to me? Why is the walls coming down? So you can see why the walls, because God said Jericho marched around the walls, the walls of Jericho, Jericho, Joshua walked around that wall seven times and it came crumbling down. He adapt to it so you can see. Sometimes God puts you in an area so you can be a blessing for somebody and you can be that person's karma. You can regenerate, but don't get too comfortable. A lot of y'all have the animal spirit of a frog. A frog is coming around. Prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace the change because you can adapt to it. You adapt just for that season and then you move on. You very mystic. People can't figure you out. Because you adapt. You are that chameleon. You can adapt to anything. And once you conquer it, once you did your thing that you had to do, either you was a karmic to that person or you was a blessing to that person, you move on. And a lot of y'all moving on to y'all prosperity. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. And a lot of y'all have the ego coming in as mastery. 
some of y'all y'all are uh, quick to learn things people say man you a quick learner you do this like you've done it before you are natural because you mastered that some of y'all are master healers but you need to learn to heal thyself before you can adapt to heal another one. A lot of y'all master teachers. You must learn to sit with the ascended masters and teach before you can be able to teach someone. And don't think you know everything. That's why I say each one teach one. Because every master was once a student and every master is a teacher. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. Have you noticed everything I said from these four animals? It says, let go of the past. The past does not define you. The past, the past make you great so you can have that strength to move on in the future. The past gives you the present to change it how you want it so you won't fuck it up in the future. You are the author of your story. You decide the beginning, you decide the end. The middle is always mystic. It's always about fuck ups. It keeps you in suspense. Is he going to kill her? Is he going to die? You are the author of your story. You're on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Because you are inspiration to those that need you. You are the lighter to their cigarette. A lot of y'all, y'all vision is changing. Like I said, this goes with the polar bear. Y'all psychic abilities. Everyone cannot be a full-blown medium. But a medium does not always mean seeing with your natural eye. You could be seeing with your spiritual eye and still be a medium. A lot of y'all are psychic mediums. Y'all vision is changing. A lot of y'all have prophetic dreams. A lot of y'all dreams does not always mean you go night night and dream. It can be like a vision. You sitting somewhere and have a daydream. Especially if you're a daydreamer, you have visions. All right? Things are changing. This April moon is going to affect a lot of y'all dreams, a lot of y'all visions, a lot of y'all uh, intuitions. Okay? Because the moon is feminine energy. Moon is water. So a lot of emotions. All right? A lot of y'all, like I said, pay attention to your dreams. You are being guided. You're being guided at this time. Pay attention to your dreams, guidance, and a gift. A lot of y'all are going to receive the gift of your vision getting more stronger. A lot of y'all gift a clear audience is going to get stronger. A lot of y'all are going to get the gift of your ascended ancestors way 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 back from the beginning of the time i'm here in bc a lot of y'all need to pull cards on you whether it's oracle cards or tarot this is guiding you and what you do is you pick up how you feel what your eyes is drawn to what you vision hear feel and write it down past present and future you only need three cards the past present and the future what is holding me back can be the first card what am I in now? Second, what do I need to know in the future? Okay, because you're going to be guiding. Call forth your spirit guide to help you or your animal spirit guide. A lot of y'all, like I said, are going to be given a gift. Your gifts is going to enhance, enhance more on this April moon. What else do they need to know, spirit? <laughs> A lot of y'all are going to be maturing more. That's why your gifts are getting dormant. You're getting ready to get more gifts because you learn to master the gifts that you have. So the ones that is dormant, you're getting ready to be gifted and because you're going in spiritual. You're maturing spiritually. A lot of y'all need to connect with the elemental beings. I'm picking up a, a gnome. A gnome is over abundance. A gnome is over prosperity. A gnome is the guardian. The gnomes is over there with the diamonds, the emeralds, the rubies, okay? A lot of y'all need to connect with that. Call forth your gnomes to guide you. A gnome could be giving you a gift. Call your gnome in uh, meditation.
once again, a lot of y'all get ready to find out that you are that hidden diamond, okay? They promise you something, y'all about to get it. God cannot lie. God is not going to renege on his promise. A lot of y'all are mourning over a lost one. You got to understand that one that you're mourning on did what they had to do for you on this earthly realm. For them to give you more, they had to cross over. And they are going to visit you and they're going to offer you a gift. A lot of y'all are going to notice that your past loved ones was very spiritual. You're going to learn that in your dreams. Okay? A lot of y'all, they have not forgot about a promise. A lot of y'all get ready to get that freedom that y'all asking for. Okay? That was a promise. They said they're going to make a way for you. They heard your cries. They working hard for you. But Spirit is also saying, you got to do your part too. Okay? They can only guide you and help you. Because of free will, they cannot force it upon you. Even though ancestors don't give a fuck about free will, but your animal spirits and your spirit guides do. Certain gods, goddesses, and deities do respect that. A lot of y'all are getting punished because y'all did not take care of a karmatic thing in another past life. That's why things are failing. Once again, some people think they blame God if a child is born without a limb, a child is born without a finger, well, that is a limb or something's wrong with them. That goes back. God don't make mistakes. That goes back to your past lives. If you see children born without a finger, it's because in a past life it was cut off. So when they re came back, it was still that way. Okay, there's a reason for everything. When people said uh, about someone being like in the same sex, it's because in a lifetime, that woman is trapped inside that man's body or that man is trapped inside a woman's body. That is their punishment. You never know what that person did in another lifetime. What other messages? Spirit is saying, continue to be patient. Things are moving on for y'all like i said a promise they going to do their promise they have not forgot about their promise they might not you might not seem like it but there's lessons that you're not learning okay things do not move on your time okay a lot of y'all are trying to be balanced okay like i said this is libra season so happy soul days to all my libras this is all about balancing the yin and the yang like i said the veil is thinning. It's going to get the thinnest in October. When all those people that did karmatic stuff wrong, you're about to get it. You're about to get what you've done. All those that planted good, you're about to get everything that you've done. So karma is coming back because of the balancing of the scales. Okay? This summer, a lot of y'all had uh, reaped your last part of your karmatic, your bad karmatic. So everything is going to go. Everybody's going to go in front of council. Spirit is saying someone is being admired. Your ancestors are admiring you. They are so proud of you. They understand this did not come with instruction. They understand that. But they also said they there for guidance. Also remember you cannot call upon every ancestor. Because every ancestor is not good. Every ancestor do not want alcohol on their altar. That's why I said you have to sit with them. A lot of y'all going through a lot of changes during this April moon. A lot of changes. A lot of y'all getting ready to find out that partner is karmatic. You learning lessons. You're being punished. Okay. A lot of that is going to end. A lot of y'all doing this trans metamorphosis. A lot of healing. Y'all starting to put yourself first. Y'all starting to be committed to your spirituality. The answer is yes. You're going to get what you're asking for, but sometimes you're not quite ready. You're not quite ready. They want you to refocus and do post this. Refocus. I can't talk. Downloads coming in. Refocus on healing. Once you refocus on healing, setting you, knowing what you want, going through this change, you're going to get that uh, commitment. You're going to get that new car. You're going to get that apartment, that house. You're going to get that healing. You got to want it. You got to want it. 
You cannot receive healing if you're not open to it. You have to heal. A lot of y'all are not doing shadow work. A lot of y'all going to be finding y'all tribe. And Spirit said everything is happening in divine, in divine timing. The balance of the scales. A lot of forgiveness is going to be coming on. A lot of unions during this April moon. A lot of contemplating. A lot of people are thinking suicidal thoughts. That is not your thoughts. Because you do not want to live. I mean, you do not want to die. Those are not your thoughts. Something inside of you want to die. Okay? You cannot give in to those thoughts. If a person goes in the ocean and they fighting to stay afloat, they don't want to die. Something inside of them wants to die. You're not a quitter. You're very strong. You have to reverse that and get out of your head. It's a mental thing. You're being mentally attacked. Am I saying it's easy? No, it's not. But sometimes you got to go through therapy. Sometimes you're going to have to release. A lot of us don't want to forgive. We hold on to grudges. And those grudges keep eating at us, eating at us, eating at us. We keep pondering on what somebody else is doing. If it doesn't resonate, say it doesn't resonate. If it doesn't fit, it won't requit or whatever he said. Don't make it fit if it don't fit. If this is not resonating with you, but don't make it. It's not your story. What other messages do you have for them? They want you to return back to your roots. You can have anything you want. You are ready. And some of y'all keep pondering on it, said, I'm not ready because I don't want to face this. I don't want to face this. You letting those roots take place again. You can cut cords. You can take those weeds out. But if you keep giving it oxygen, you keep pondering on it. And if you're not seeking some type of therapy, it's going to take roots again. It's going to take roots. So you have to be careful when you have someone take the roots out because you are a gentle prize. That's like when you see a bunch of wheat growing. Wheat is harvest. Wheat is gold. Wheat is money. And then you see weeds going across those roots of that wheat because it doesn't want the wheat to take place. And sometimes the roots of the weed will tangle with the wheat and can try to contaminate that wheat. But it's your job to untangle that. Sometimes when you're full of light, the enemy don't like that. So they will try to entangle with your roots. They will plant seeds so they can grow with you and contaminate you. But you can say no. Healing does not happen just overnight. Healing takes a long time. Once again, I am still healing. No one is perfect. We all have fuck ups. But you cannot let those weeds entangle with the wheat. You're going to have to detangle it. You are spiritual. You are special. And the enemy will try to plant seeds and weed to contaminate you. But you cannot let that happen. You are ready. Release and let go. Those weeds are trying to tell you that you're not ready. But you was ready. You was created for this. You was born for this. You are a dreamer. And your dreams are meant to come true. I don't know who I'm talking to, but don't let them plant seeds in you. You are your brother's keeper. You are your sister's keeper. Stop letting people plant seeds in you. Because they don't want to see you win. I love to love and be loved unconditional love you have to give yourself unconditional love before you can receive that love you got to make sure that you're not letting them plant those seeds in there so they can contaminate you you are that diamond in the rough i am open to the blessings of the storm embrace that storm because you know once the storm pass the sun is going to come out and you're going to have many blessings Grateful for the storms. Be grateful for them fuck ups. 
Yeah, my back hurt, but yeah, baby, I'm still alive. You know what I'm saying? I might not have no steak, but this peanut butter and jelly sure sound good. My light bill might be high, but you know what? It ain't cut off. Embrace the storms. Be grateful for the storms. This is what Spirit is saying. When you're grateful, those weeds can't take place. Yeah, I'm driving a three-wheel car. It's okay. But at least I ain't walking. People that's walking or catching a bus wish they had that three-legged car. People laying in a hospital fighting for their life is wishing to get a second chance. Because, you know, they let other people do stuff to them. People in wheelchairs, they might not can't walk, but they grateful they can still have mobility. And I'm up there saying they wish that I could walk. So the people that's patting and turning, walking, there's people that's in a wheelchair wishing they can walk. Wishing that they can feel their feet. There's people that's in, uh, I don't know, in uh, homeless wish they can live in a one bedroom shack you know they make friends with the mice and roaches there's always someone worse off than you you have to be grateful for the storm because you will find peace I am safe and supported you are divinely supported sometimes it doesn't feel like it but we really are once again I say this sometimes God lets you go through this storm so you can hear his voice. So he can say, it's okay, child. I got you. This is the world. This is you. Okay? Can't nothing take you out. The enemies would try, but you are in God's hand. You are protected. Only way you can get out if you decide to do it yourself. Only you. What other message? Shadow work. Becoming friends with the things you don't like about yourself. I am uniquely wonderful me. There's no comparison. If there's no comparison, there's no competition. Stop trying to look at everybody else and focus on you. If you wear two different color socks, that's you. Can't nobody pull it off like you, baby. Stop letting them get you all wrapped up with these weeds. Stop letting them. Stop letting them plant the seeds. You have a surprise coming. This goes back to I said you got a gift coming. You may be you may be about to be surprised. You're getting ready to be surprised. That promise that you forgot all about, they didn't forget about it. You can right get that surprise because you started focusing on other stuff. A lot of y'all seeing 1111. That's an important number for twin flames. Y'all could be getting ready to meet your twin flame. Okay, it's also symbolized stability, harmony, balance. A lot of y'all, your soul is preparing to reconnect with someone to the divine being. Your higher self is ready to connect with you. Your heart is opening up. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. This is how you know your divine being is coming. Your pum pum will jump. Your hot dog will move. This one is going to be an enlightenment. You're going to enlighten them. They're going to enlighten you. A lot of enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. Y'all going to be open with one another about y'all practices, about what you're doing, because y'all spiritually yoke. A lot of y'all need to be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship. A lot of y'all don't want to hear or listen to what they have to say. Okay, let's get into the message message. What do they need to know? A lot of y'all heart is healing. Your heart is healing. Y'all letting it go. A lot of betrayals, a lot of loneliness, a lot of removal, absent, division, depression, separation, sadness, heartache. They are you getting ready. All those people that did you wrong, like I said, justice is coming in. The balancing of the scales is coming in. 
okay a lot of y'all step or get ready to get that balance like i said because you are down you don't think you're strong enough you calling in your forces they are coming in and all those people that did black magic on you did you wrong stabbed you in the back is getting ready to get theirs all those people that planted good karma y'all about to receive y'all good karma balance peace patience, moderation things are happening for you you're being divinely guided you're being divinely guided you're doing your shadow work you're forgiving them for their ignorance you're forgiving you you're starting to trust you this is going to bring in your twin flame your soulmate your emotional he's he or she is very emotionally intelligent they everything that you're supposed to be. Like I said, your heart gets bit, uh, starts beating fast. Your poom poom jump. Your hot dog jump. Okay, y'all have sacrificed. Y'all put yourself last. Spirit is saying, not no more. And this is where you're going to get these ten of pentacles, your happiness. Okay, the sun is coming out because you was grateful for the storm. Because you was grateful for the storm. And you learned these lessons because they was your teachers. Your sun is coming out. You're not defeated. You defeated the enemy. You're not defeated. You stand in your ground. But you have to go through the storm. You have to go through the healing. You need to open up your heart. And it will help you attract more love, more abundance, more prosperity. You have to be open to receive. A closed mouth can't get fed. A closed heart can't receive love. Being lazy don't will not bring you money. Okay, you have to be open. You have to feel the energy also. What other message? Spirit. Yep, y'all got a surprise coming, a blessing. Taking a life, taking a risk on you. Taking a risk. A lot of y'all have a karmic partner that's into gambling, always can't keep money. Problems with addiction, drugs, getting high, you know, hanging out with their friends, bad finances. That's about to end. A lot of y'all are, are getting with a gold digger. That's about to end because you with the right person. You going broke. You buying love. You buying affection with this gold digger. That's about to end too. I could be talking to a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a karmic uh, lessons get ready to happen to a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, luck is on your side. You're not defeated. They want you to be committed to the game. They want you to be committed to this spiritual path. A lot of y'all get ready to go on vacation. Y'all going to be traveling soon. A lot of y'all are going to find out that y'all pregnant. You have to be committed. Great passion. Heartache over what you no longer have because you was codependent on that. You thought that was your happiness. But your spirit said, no, it wasn't. Needle and a thread, a sincere wish will be granted. I told you they didn't forget about that promise. Financial pitch is because this person is draining you. This person is karmatic. This person is taking advantage of you. That's about to end. A lot of y'all, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Y'all could be meeting that divine plan. This could be a partnership, a business shape. Okay? Remember, new home, new attitude, a contract. Something good is about to happen. I send you peace, love, and light. I shall.